Hello kids. How are you all? Hope all well. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you eating healthy foods? Can anyone tell me why do we need food? Today I am going to teach you lesson 1 food we eat of general science of class 4. We need food to remain alive, stay healthy, grow and get energy. Food keeps us strong and protects us from diseases. So all of us should eat healthy food. Food is the basic need of human beings. Now there are materials present in the food. These materials are called nutrients. So my dear children what are nutrients? Nutrients are the materials present in our food. There are five types of nutrients. Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals. Whatever food we eat helps us in different ways. On the basis of functions, the foods are divided into three types. Energy giving foods, Bodybuilding foods, protective foods. The nutrients, carbohydrates and fats are also called energy giving foods. Why? Because they give energy to our body. Let's talk about carbohydrates. What are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are the nutrients which give energy to our body. The people who do more physical work need more carbohydrates. Moreover, carbohydrates can be easily digested. The foods which give us carbohydrates are rice, wheat, potato. Fats. What are fats? Fats are the nutrients which give more energy than carbohydrates. They also keep our body warm. But fats are difficult to digest. If we eat too much of fatty foods, it leads to obesity. That is, it makes you fat. The foods which contain fats are oil, ghee, butter. Then comes the bodybuilding foods. Proteins. Proteins are also called bodybuilding foods as they help us to grow and build our body. Children like you and bodybuilders need more proteins. The foods which give us proteins are milk, meat, eggs, fish, pulses. Next comes the protective foods. Vitamins and minerals are called protective foods. Why? Because they protect our body and keep us healthy. Vitamins and minerals are needed in very small quantity. But they are very essential for our body. Vitamin A we get from papaya and carrot. Vitamin D we get from milk and butter. Calcium, sodium, 
iron are different types of minerals calcium makes our bones and teeth strong iron helps in the formation of blood children do you drink milk you should drink milk why because milk is a complete food it contains all the nutrients in it along with the nutrients we should also take water and roughage water is very essential for our body it helps in the digestion of food and keeps us healthy so children every day we should at least drink 6 to 8 glasses of water now comes roughage what is roughage roughage is the fiber present in our body this fiber helps to remove undigested food from our body it helps the digestive system to work properly salads fruits vegetables whole grains are rich in fiber so children we should include all these in our daily diet next topic comes the balanced diet what do you mean by balanced diet balanced diet is a diet which has all the nutrients in right amounts now children look at the food pyramid what are you able to see what is the base of the pyramid if you see the base of the pyramid is having the rice wheat pulses so first preference should be given to these foods in our diet second preference should be given to the fruits and vegetables third preference should be given to milk meat eggs fish fourth comes oil ghee butter but the last one is the cake pizza ice cream which is your favorite isn't it but my dear children you should not include these foods in your daily diet these foods are called junk foods and have very low nutritional value so when every day we should include rice wheat pulses fruits vegetables meat fish eggs and a little amount of oil ghee butter and we should avoid ice cream pizzas cakes in our daily diet to remain healthy next comes the care of food why should we take care of food we should take care of food because food is our basic need many children in the whole world do not get food and they die of hunger so children we should not waste food whenever we eat food we should take limited amount of food or the amount of food which we need we should not overfill the plates first you complete the things which you have taken and then if you need you can again go and take it but don't waste food food should be preserved before it gets spoiled dry foods 
should be kept in air tight containers fruits and vegetables should be used first so that they don't get spoiled now children can you tell me from where do we get these food items or from where do we get the food we get the food from the plants so plants are very very important to us we should take care of plants and we should grow more and more plants to get fresh air and plant products hope you have understood the importance of food in this lesson and you will eat healthy food thank you children